opportunity to meet most of you in person, but I'm Reverend Jennifer and I am your new priest here at St. James Louisa. I'm sorry that we're going through this pandemic. I really look forward to meeting you all in person and hope you're doing well. Please know that we as a church are here for you. So this Sunday morning, we have a, a parable from the book of Matthew. So Matthew is the first gospel in the New Testament in the Bible. And this parable comes at the end of Jesus's ministry. I'm gonna read it to you, so just bear with me. Matthew 25. The kingdom of heaven will be like this. 10 wedding attendants took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were sensible. The foolish ones, though they took their lamps, took no oil with them whereas the sensible ones took flask of oil as well as their lamps. The bridegroom was late and they all grew drowsy and fell asleep. But at midnight there was a cry, look, the bridegroom, go out and meet him. Then all those wedding attendants woke up and trimmed their lamps and the foolish ones said to the sensible ones, give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. But they replied, there may not be enough for us and for you you had better go to those who sell it and buy some for yourselves. They had gone off to buy it when the bridegroom arrived. Those who were ready went in with him to the wedding hall and the door was closed. The other attendants arrived later. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, in truth, I tell you, I do not know you. So stay awake because you do not know either the day or the hour. I don't know how many of you I lost in the reading of that, but what this story is about is it's about 10 bridesmaids who are at a wedding and five of them brought oil lamps with extra oil and five of them had oil lamps with no extra oil. And I'm wondering if how many of you even know what an oil lamp is. So I brought you an oil lamp from my home and I don't know if you can see it, but how an oil lamp works is there's a wick in an oil lamp and there's oil in your lamp. Your wick goes down into it. And when there's oil on all of the wick, if you light it, it will stay lit. This will burn for a long time. People used to have these kind of oil lamps in their homes before they had electricity because they were a little bit safer and they would burn longer than candles. But when all of this oil goes out, my lamp is gonna go out. So in this parable, some people didn't have enough oil. The party, the bridegroom didn't show up in time. The groom didn't show up and therefore people ran out of oil in their lamps. The hard part of that story is that you really didn't know if he had showed up on time, then their lamps would have been okay. They would have had enough oil. So it's a little bit difficult to know who's going to be prepared and who's not going to be prepared. The main thing for you to remember is that we never know how long it's going to take somebody to show up for something. We don't know how long this pandemic is going to last. We don't know when you're going to be able to go back to school normally. We don't know when you'll be able to come back to church normally. We should always be prepared and in our waiting, as we continue to wait for things to open back up for us, as we continue to wait for God to fulfill his promises to us, and for God to come back to the earth. The message is, is for us to be ready and to be prepared. So today, as you go about your day, I want you to pray and think about what you can do in your heart to be prepared. We're always here for you. God bless you and love you.